Eight years ago, Teddy Tucker of the Bermuda Underwater Exploration Institute teamed up with scientists from the Canadian Geological Survey to study sea level rise in Bermuda. This 7,000-year-old ancient cedar tree was discovered rooted in the seafloor at about a 10-meter depth, indicating that when it grew, the sea level was at least 10 meters lower than it is today. When this was growing, the sea level was below this. It had to be below it and be of some time, or it was, and it's a large tree, so it had a long time to grow and then suddenly the sea hit it, you know, it, over a period of time. And it killed it, it got eaten off, burnt off. It was sometime involved in a forest fire because it had done charring on it. And the fire was probably from the passage of a meteor or asteroid or something, because the ones that came out of St. George's Harbor <coughs> and Mills Creek in dredging, they had charred on top. And it's all in the same time, in geological time, that this happened. But with this, you have a date within 30 years, done by radiation, or when it was growing. You have the location that it was growing. You have the depth of water that's where it's growing, which makes this extremely important. Since this took place, the water's come up 35 feet, and it's migrated in. We've gone inshore into a <coughs> well bay, and dug up other material that was growing there. According to Tucker, sea level rise has shrunk this island. 30,000 years ago, Bermuda was 300 square miles, but now it has been reduced to 20, and he predicts if this trend in sea level rise continues, Bermuda will eventually perish.